I've had a problem pop up at work occasionally that's incredibly frustrating. It's where I open a PowerPoint document that I spent a ton of time on and I get this notice here that the file has been corrupt and I have to repair it by clicking this button. And when you click repair, it doesn't seem to do anything and you open up a document that has a bunch of red X's through slides or it's completely blank. And in effect, it's a useless PowerPoint that you've put a ton of work in. So I have found a work workaround by doing some research that's actually remarkably simple and it's been effective for me, so hopefully this helps you. And what you're gonna need for this fix is simply a Google Drive account. And you can get that through um, google.com slash drive and set that up if you don't already have one. Um, and it's really easy, especially if you have a Gmail account already. But once you do that, you'll have this uh, user interface for your drive and all you will need to do is take that corrupted file and drag it into your drive. Once it's uploaded, you will now right click and open with Google Slides, which is Google's version of Microsoft PowerPoint. And when it opens in Slides, it will correct whatever was causing that issue within your um, PowerPoint that was making it say corrupt. And from here, you'll just save it back into a PowerPoint version with whatever that correction was so that it opens back up in PowerPoint correctly. So you go to download as from the file menu and you download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint. When you do this, I'm going to just move it to my desktop so it's easier to see. You'll get another file with the same name if you haven't changed it that should open like a typical PowerPoint file. Now what you'll want to do is go through your slides and see whatever has been slightly modified and that is likely the root cause of what was causing the corruption and then you can change that so that you can continue to save it and open it as a normal PowerPoint document. So this has been extremely helpful um, when I've run into this problem so hopefully this helps you guys too. Um, thanks a lot for watching and please subscribe.